Well, it's a nice Sunday afternoon here in Missouri, up here at Mark Twain Lake, and uh, what I'm doing today, I'm going to put all my tackle back in my boat. I've had it in my uh, pouch shack all winter long, kind of going through everything. Uh, still got to pick up a few more things at Tackle Warehouse, and uh, I got some stuff ordered. So anyway, uh, let's, uh, I'll just show you my, my rig for uh, the 2000. 19 season which is the same one I had last year so I don't get a new boat every year I think I got this boat in July of 2017 and it's a Skeeter ZX 200 Yamaha 200 show on it and uh, I don't see any reason to get another boat for a lot of years so I don't know if they can get much better than what they what they make them now so let me give you a look at what I'm what I'm in this year Right now I got the Minn Kota four tracks, 80 pound thrust on it right now. Uh, here's all my tackle, getting ready to go in this big middle middle bin here in the ZX200. <clears throat> oh. Red, white, and black, I love the color. You know, it's not nothing fancy, but it gets the job done said I don't think fish care too much what you what kind of boat you got but I uh, like these skeeters there's the big motor 200 horse four stroke Yamaha show telling you what if you haven't ever tried one you need to try one I got the eight foot power pole on here uh, the Pro Series 2 uh, it actually comes with it whenever you order one so Anyway, and then I've got, <clears throat> you know, we got, I've got the normal seat in the back, and then there's my uh, butt seat, which I very seldom have it up front, unless I'm crappie fishing or something, I might lean up on it. But when I'm bass fishing a tournament, it's, uh, I'm standing, throwing, moving. So, anyway, uh, this has got the Elite, Lawrence Elite TIs on it, which is, is a great, great units. Uh, I don't see any reason to upgrade right now. I mean, they do everything I need to do. So, down imaging, side imaging, sonar, chirp. It's got it all. So, very good picture. Hopefully, we'll get on the water here next week, and we'll show you some. Uh, show you how good they are. And uh, I got a, actually got an Elite Ti up front, right there. It's all flush mounted. Not nothing in my way. So. Anyway, that's the big uh, Strike 3 fishing boat tour, uh, what I'm running this year. But right now, we're going to get to the tackle. We're going to put it in the boat. Um, I got everything pretty much organized. Like I said, I'd, I've got a few things ordered right now that should be in this week. And the fishing's not going to get really good around here for another probably three weeks, but we're going to be able to get on, out on the water, I'd say, by next weekend for sure. So all the ice should be gone here in Missouri, Mark Twain Lake area. So uh, anyway, I got uh, got a bunch of stuff to put in here, and we'll uh, we'll uh, see you here in a little bit. Then I'll uh, when I, once I get everything in, we'll go through this. I'll I'll show you you know where I kind of store everything, just kind of what I do. So talk to you in a bit. All right, we're back. We're gonna put some tackle in the boat now. Uh, this box here. Just one of those deep Plano boxes. I got all my DT6s and DT10s in there. I'll throw a lot of them. I love them crankbaits. Right here I got my lipless crankbaits. So I don't throw them a lot, but I get to have a few in the boat. So we got them in here. This box here is my uh, medium divers, what I call medium divers, my Series 3 and 4 from Strike King. I throw a lot of them, so and some wiggle warts. I got some wiggle warts in there, and right here I got all my shallow cranks, all my uh, square bills. I got some mostly Strike Kings in there. Actually, I got all Strike Kings. I got a couple Normans in there as well. So, uh, and I got some crank wrapped crank baits in there that used to be a certain color, and now they're a beautiful color. Got those in there. Stick them in this nice box here. Got those little dividers there that Skeeter has in their boats. The boxes fit in perfect. 
they actually come with boxes too so I'm using a lot of them boxes in this so. uh, right here I got my three quarter ounce football jigs in a box all my football jigs pretty much you know I don't go crazy on colors you know I mean I don't have all these rainbow looking colors and all that stuff I just got my my browns my natural colors my black and blues I mean places I fish that's all I'm gonna need so So as far as jigs go, that's you ain't gonna find a bunch of colors in my box. So. Anyway, <clears throat> you know there's stuff to catch fishermen and stuff to catch fish. And, I don't know. I've always had good luck on those colors. Is all you need, I think. Uh, this box here looks like some chatter baits. Got some chatter baits in this box. I need to actually fill that up. I got some chatter baits on the way, so this box will be full here in another few couple days when I get that order in. So, and this box here, it's kind of one of them waterproof, I don't even know, deep Plano boxes. I don't know what size it is, but it's deeper. And I use this, You know, I'll put all my crawls, my rage tails, all my jig trailers, you know, chunks, you name it. I put that in this box here. That way when I need a jig trailer, I can get in that box and I can go right to it. And I can pick me out a jig trailer. So we're going to put that in the box here. That actually doesn't really fit in those containers. I could take a couple out, but I think I got all these slots filled. So what I'll do, I'll just put it to the side like that. Uh, right here's all my flipping jigs right here. Again, I just carry pretty much half ounce and three eighths ounce. I don't get, I might have some five sixteenths ounce in there too, but I don't get too crazy with it. So again, there's some Omega, Mega jigs in there, some Star jigs. Uh, some dirk jigs in there actually so uh, you know if I want to I want to go with that round round head jig so anyway basically the same colors I don't get crazy I got a couple whites got a couple swim jigs actually in there so I might throw a white swim jig try it around uh, like the Ozarks around a couple docks this, this spring uh, whenever we get there in April so Anyway, that's that. We're going to put that in the slot here. Well, here's my football jig box. Pretty much half ounce uh, and three eighths ounce football jigs. I love throwing football jigs in early spring. So, anyway. These are most, all these are actually star jigs. Star football jigs. Uh, just basic colors. I don't get too crazy with them. So. Put that in there. Now here is what I use for all my Carolina rig stuff and my uh, tungsten weights, my flipping weights, my worm weights. It's this little flambeau box right here. And I've, I did a, a review on it a while back. So I know where everything's at. You know, if I need a quarter ounce worm, quarter ounce flipping. 516th flip, 516th weren't, you know, on down, I, I can just go to this box here. And like I showed you before, they're, they're individually boxed. See how they got these little containers that come out there. So far, I like them. Uh, I might possibly get one of them Bass Mafia terminal tackle boxes here for too long. I'm not for sure yet, but this box here was like eight bucks. So, you know, I used it last year. I didn't really have problems with anything chipping or anything, so anyway. This next box, this is about the only kind of plastics I'll have in a in a box is it's all my pack of chunks, juniors and seniors for for some just some jig trailers, some more jig trailers. So show you those. 
I do have some Berkeley Trigger Crawls in there too, four inch. I like them too as well. So, you know, you know, I got two or three different trailers I like. I like the Rage Rage Crawls. I like the Pack of Chunks. I like the the Berkeley Trigger Crawls. So, anyway, when you're the weekend angler, you just throw what you want to throw. And like I said, I don't have bait companies throwing me a certain thing where I got to use a certain thing. So I just use what I like to use, and that's it. So, uh, actually, here and there's all my hook box here. This little flambeau box got the rust protector deals in there. So, anyway, got all my worm worm weight or worm hooks, flipping hooks, extra wide gap hooks. Nothing crazy. Um, now, spinner baits, buzz baits. I've got spinner baits in this one. I got all my Colorado blades in there for that colder water. I want to slow roll something, and I got all my willow leaves in this box here. And all these little spinner bait boxes, pretty simple. And in this box here, I got a few buzz baits. So I'm gonna try that system this year with just a little plain old whatever number box it is. Throw some buzz baits in there. Now this year. What I've done, I've always put my soft plastics in a in a regular, you know, box like one of these plain old boxes. But I think they last. I think they last longer if you put them in these Ziploc bags. So I just keep them in the same package that they come in. Like in here, I just got some pit bosses and some creature baits. So you know, again, I use this black and blue, green pumpkins. You know. Watermelon red, don't get too crazy with the colors, but I'm just gonna, I can throw that right in there. And I'll throw some Senkos, I got some Senkos right here, I got a box of them, you know, right in there. Again, two or three different colors I throw on them, I don't get too crazy. Keep it simple, right? So, anyway, I'll throw them in there. And I do got a few bags of lizards, because springtime is lizard time and I love throwing these zoom lizards so anyway and they're also great Carolina rig bait when that's going on so anyway I'll probably keep them I got some more of these ordered actually so I'm just gonna lay them aside right now so anyway and then I got the bag of 10 inch worms I keep in this Bassmaster bag there that you get when you sign up for Bassmaster magazine so I just keep all my baits in that bag there that way I know all my 10 inch worms are right in this bag and I got some 7 inch worms in this little pocket so I can throw that right in there and all my tackles in there on my bass tackle now I got some crappie tackle too you know crappie fishing you don't need a lot I mean I don't need a lot I don't really fish a lot of crappie tournaments but even if I did you don't I don't think you need a lot of crappie I got two boxes for crappie you know I've got uh, just one of these flambeau boxes right here and it's just got some different crappie jigs in them uh, I like them crappie max I got some Bobby Garland's uh, it's got an assortment you know white chartreuse black chartreuse you know blue and chartreuse I got some of these uh, slab buster crappie jigs I love these so blue and chartreuse white and chartreuse about all you need. You don't need a bunch of colors. I mean, I got some pink chartreuse, so I got some of these sausage head jigs from Strike King, and I also got some Pro Built jigs, which I <clears throat> picked up these at the hunting corner here in Monroe City last year, and I'll tell you what, I really like them, and I'm going to go back and get some more this week, so. These pro built jigs, I got the sickle hook on them. It's a number two hook, I believe. So uh, it's the extreme sickle. The extreme sickle hook. So I'll tell you what, the hookup ratio on these bad boys are unbelievable. So anyway, I am gonna throw a lot of these pro built jigs this this uh, spring and summer and fall for crappie. So 
anyway, I think there's nine or ten in a bag, and they're like four ninety nine a pop or something, so they're not too expensive at all. So, and I just got a few more heads and some spinners. So, like I said, <clears throat> I'm gonna fill that box back up here this week. I got to get some more uh, pro built jigs. I'll go up to the hunting corner probably first of the week and buy maybe what they got on the shelf i'm not for sure yet but see what colors they got so and on crappie jigs i'm just using pink white or chartreuse on jig heads that's all i use i don't like i said i don't get crazy with colors otherwise you'd have 18 boxes full of different 18 different colors i like to keep it simple i'd really you know to me if you put it in front of the crappie's mouth they're gonna bite it in my opinion but that's just me so anyway well, that's it, and uh, with all the tackle, so now I'm going to talk to you about the rest of the boat, what, what I put in here. Well, we got the boat organized. Now we're going to, I'm just going to show you what I got in my compartments here. I've got in the driver's side rod box, which I don't have a bunch of rods in there. I've got, I got my butt seat. <clears throat> I've got some buoys. I've got a colon beam here. I've got my way ardent way in bag right here. I've got some extra line right there in case I need to re-spool on the water. I got my cold weather uh, Bass Pro Shops rain suit, and then I got my I got a warm weather one right here, a lighter one, and then I got some. TP, which we all need that on the water every once in a while. So, <clears throat> anyway. Right here in this day box, I just got a few extra jigs, a couple soft plastics, got some uh, swim bait heads and stuff, and I got some of this Bang Garlic spray. So, that's the, this is the crawl dad crawl and shad formula. Bang. And then I've got the garlic bang. So spray it on some small plastics. Might help. It's helped me before, so anyway. And I've got actually some extra star jigs right here that they sent me. So anyway, keep a few in there in case I need some, but that's nice and organized. Big tackle box right here. Big center console. I've got everything in there I need for the season. Like I said, I'm just a weekend angler, so I don't have, you know, a truckload full of stuff. Just what's going to get me by when I need some more, I buy it again. So, anyway, about everything you need right here in this center console, right here in the Skeeter, big storage. I'm going to shut that. And I got a couple rods here I got to restring. Got to put some line on them. And here's the rod locker right here. Got all my rod and reels in there, all my ardent rod and reels. Got a couple extra uh, stray rods in there that I, I've had for years. I just don't want to get rid of. So, anyway, a lot of elites, pros, and sea forces in there. All ardent reels, baby. So, ready to rock and roll. Oh, let's go to the back here. Let's see here. This back compartment here, next behind the driver's side, I just got some life jackets. I got a first aid kit in there. I got a throw cushion. All that good stuff. I actually do have a uh, fire extinguisher in the front. Uh, that driver's side rod box too, you gotta have one of those, so I've got one of those in there. And there's the Skeeter Live Wells right here, nice and big. Anyway. And then, got some miscellaneous stuff here. In this back compartment I have nothing in. Because, you know, if I, we gotta, we, we fish buddy tournaments, so I usually leave that for my partner Kip. George, all his stuff that he catches fish on goes in that box. So, anyway, 
That's about all I got for you today on Strike 3 Fishing. March the 10th, 2019. Hopefully get on the water next uh, week and get you some fishing action. So stay with us. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and we'll see you next time.